Appreciation Night at the 90th Annual San Angelo Rodeo. And what better way to show them we're thankful than having them chase a bullfighter around the arena. For San Angelo Live, I'm Matt Tramp. One former service member named Laura Torres was able to catch that slick guy and pull him down. The amazing tackle from the former Marine show why she's the few, the proud, and the shoeless. Another event that was hot enough to knock your socks off was the bull riding. Most cowboys had a bad day, including the dummy Mitchell, whose head went straight to kingdom come. But for the Montana cowboy, Parker Bredding, he managed to dominate the bull deplorable, giving him an 83-point score. Bredding and San Angelo Live's Manny Diaz caught up after the ride to talk about his next move. It's bull riding, presented by First Financial Bank. Well, he needed a ride to get into the top 12 on Friday night. And at the moment, it looks like he may have that. It's Parker Bredding, 83 score tonight on the Bull Deplorable. This is Bull Riding presented by First Financial Bank. He's Parker Bredding. I'm Manny Diaz. Parker, you just got, it appears you're in the top 10 at least. That They take the, the, the top 12. Tell me about this ride tonight on Deplorable scoring an 83. Oh, yeah, that was a really, really nice bull to have. Uh, didn't know too much about him, but the book was that he was going to come out and spin right, just like he did, so uh, fit me pretty good. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to what they've got done on scores here, so when they said 83, I was thinking, shoot, yeah, I've got it sewed up to make a short round, and they said I was sitting tent, so <laughs> kind of complicates things a little bit. I'll have to kind of sweat it out uh, tomorrow and see if I make it. It sounds like a second first date. It's kind of complicated at that point. Uh, tonight, uh, now you said, you know, you enjoy the spin. You know, it's almost like a roller coaster, or a, you know, what we see out the at the carnival, the nice spinning ride. Why is it, I mean, as a left-handed bull, you're left-handed, why is it that you enjoy that spin from the bull? Uh, well, when they're when they're not spinning, they're most likely moving ahead forward really hard and uh, might have a lot more dirty jumps to them. Uh, so we, we definitely like them to spin. Uh, the judges like them to spin too, we'll get more points out of them if they spin. But as a bull rider, you know, it just feels really good when they're kind of staying in one place and spinning rather than moving forward all over the place. It's kind of hard for us to stay forward and and be uh, where we need to be on them uh, if they're doing that. But if they're spinning, uh, we have a little bit more control. Ricky Bobby likes to go fast. You like to spin. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Something like that. All right. So on Sunday in Extreme Bulls, you were the runner up. Uh, tonight, you're looking like you you may have a date for the short round. How, how nice does it feel to at least get somewhat of a win, you know, coming off that, that runner up uh, slot on Sunday in the Extreme Bulls? Yeah, it feels great. To, I've had a few days off and kind of just been hanging out around here. So to have a little time off and then come back here and go, go right back and do my job uh, feels really good. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully it pays off. And even if it doesn't, uh, it was it was awesome to be back here at San Angelo. I've always enjoyed this rodeo. Well, speaking of it's complicated. So if you do make the short go on Friday, you already have kind of something booked, uh, ready to go on Friday in California. Tell us about that and certainly how you're kind of playing a balancing act right now. Yeah, uh, that was kind of, I mean, that Red Bluff California is a really big rodeo too. Uh, not quite as big as this one, but uh, pretty big. So that was kind of uh, how my entries worked. Uh, you you enter, enter them for a certain day, you you ask for a preference, but you don't always get that preference. And, and I got Friday night there, which uh, I was figured, you know, it'll, it'll be one or the other, the short go here or, or going to Red Bluff, but I already got a flight booked just in case, but I was gonna take off tomorrow. I figured I'd know for sure tonight uh, what happened. And uh, now I'll have to kind of wait uh, till after the performance tomorrow night and see if I make it or not. And if I don't, I guess I'm headed to Dallas to fly out. The waiting game for sure. All right, Parker Bredding an 83 score tonight on the Bull Deplorable. At the moment, he's sitting in the top 10. Uh, they only take the top 12 for the short go on Friday night. Well, he's Parker. I'm Manny Diaz, and this is Bull Riding presented by First Financial Bank. First Financial Live. We'll see you next time.